All right. So anyway, hopefully you guys had a chance to write this stuff down. Measures of weights and, uh, and temperatures. I'm going to jump all the way down to this first one. Maybe. What? It's not yeah. moving. There we go. I'm not going to do every single um, every single one of them. What is happening? Yeah, I'm not going to do every single one of them. Just the ones I underline I'm going to do. Um, a lot of the metric ones, the metric ones, I, we'll do one of those ones. But again, it still follows that exact same chart that we did earlier with kilo, um, milli, centi, all that fun stuff. So this very first one where I'm going to convert pounds to ounces, exact same way that we did before. So we got 12 pounds. Correct. Again, I'm just showing you that you can, if you set it, if you set it up this way, if you don't really understand which way to put it, again, we've got 12 pounds. We're trying to convert to ounces in one pound. There are 16 ounces. Those labels cross off. And just like Robert was saying, you're just going to multiply straight across at that point. Perfect. Okay. You got 192 ounces. Again, it's still going to work pretty much the same way that we did these ones before. Okay. If you're unsure of exactly which measurement to do, kind of make those boxes, make that chart so you can work your way across. So if it is like that, like that's it. To that. Yes. Yes, with the exception of Fahrenheit and Celsius. That's the only one that's not going to really use that chart. Okay. Uh, on to part or letter B. I want to go from 17, 176,000 ounces to tons. So I've got one, seven, six, zero, zero, zero. I'm going to say ounces and I want to turn that to tons. So I can go from ounces to pounds. And then I can go from pounds to tons. Okay. I know there are 16 ounces in one pound. I know there are 2000 pounds in one ton. <clears throat> Okay, my label's going to cancel out just like that. <coughs> multiply straight across the top, multiply straight across the bottom. I've got 17600. So again, I got, forgot to put this one on there. I got the 176000. All that will be over. 32,000. My final answer for this one is going to come all the way down to 0. 0.55 tons. Again, really all we're looking for is just making sure that depending on what labels we need to change, how can we do it in the long run? <clears throat> I'm only going to do one of these metric ones because all the metric things will still work the same way. So let me just kind of give an extra enter in here just to show that we're going to bump that one down a little bit. Whoops. So I've got 10 kilograms to grams. Again, this one, if you have that chart, the little... Um, On the test, are you going to split it up like this is your weight and measure? Yes. Okay. Yes. I got all of them. Chugging out all. Chugging out all the turtles. <laughs> all right, so again, you guys should have the chart that looks something like this. <laughs> Again, this one I have like the <coughs> grams, meters, liters. Again, this was like the deca, heca, kilo, deci, centi, <coughs> millimeter. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
Okay, every single spot that you're moving over on this, you're just going to move it over one decimal spot. Okay, so if I'm starting off, and this one has like 10 kilograms, and I'm going to go from 10 kilograms over to grams, every single spot, I'm going to add an extra zero. So look at, again, I put the chart up there so you can see it. But I'm going to start at the 10, and I'm going to start moving it over from kilo to hecta to deca to grams. If I don't want to do that, can I just do it? Yeah, you can multiply the stuff over. So again, times 10, times 10, times 10, or you could say times 1,000. Yeah. So you're going to confuse me. Yeah. If, if you want to just do the multiplication stuff, that's fine. If you're doing the um, metric units and you just want to move the decimal places over back and forth, because realistically, that's all these metric ones are doing, is just moving the decimal place left or right. Is this your drink? <laughs> I don't know. You're drinking pure gasoline. So it's like nail polish. Keeps me awake, right? Smell. All right. I don't drink. All right, so anyway. You just have to lie. Questions on this stuff? Nobody asked you if you did or not. All right. We're going to do two more of these. Okay, I want to do one story problem, and then we've got uh, two. Ladies and gents. I got. Three, three of them left. Okay. Story problems, people. This one, we got Bart. He's, he's playing football. Hey, Bartholomew. All right. Bart's playing football. His coach tells him he, that he'll start next year if he can gain 10 pounds the next 14 weeks. He's trying to bulk up pretty good. Between spring practice and summer drills. Okay, he gets a high here. He tries to hire a personal trainer who's gonna promise him that he will gain one kilogram every three weeks. Will he make his goal? Here's where we gotta figure this stuff out. Coach is saying he needs to get 10 pounds, and then the personal trainer is saying he's gonna start gaining kilograms. So let's figure out first how many hire? kilograms. Who did he hire? Why? I don't know. Some, he's, from, he's from Canada. Dude from overseas. Yeah. Why? Some some British guy. I don't know. He's a big fan of Ted Lasso. I don't know. Use our increments, man. Come on. If, if, if a trainer's no, like, I'll, 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 I'll make you gain a, a kilogram, I'd be like, no, dude. You, you gotta use our All right. So, anyway, Stop. let's go. Let's start going through. And we're going to convert those 10 pounds into kilograms. All right. Okay, so for this one, uh, one pound is the same as 0.4, what was it, 4, 2, oh, just kidding, your chart has a different one, I'm going to rewrite it as the one you got in here, 2 .2 one. one pound is going to be 2.2, 2. did you say 2.21, yeah, okay, we'll go with that one, so 2.21 is what we got. So our labels of pounds cancel out. I'm left off with this thing. So I'm going to go with that 10 pounds divided by 2.21. So he will be needing to gain 4. Point, I'll say 5.2 kilograms in 10 weeks. Or sorry, in 14 weeks. Okay, so this is what his coach wants him to get. He wants him to get 4.52 kilograms in 14 weeks. So let's look down here and figure out if his personal trainer, um, how much will he make in 14 weeks? What are you doing? Four like, kilograms. Okay. In three, six, nine, twelve weeks. Okay, so you're you're trying to figure out I'm kind of the rate the ratio that he's getting it. Uh -huh. So you're figuring out that if he makes 
I'm going to say one kilogram in three weeks. Let's figure out what he will make in just one week. So I know exactly what you're doing. You're counting, counting by threes, which is perfect. I'm going to figure out the unit rate. I'm going to figure out how much he's actually going to gain per week. So he's gaining 0.33 kilograms. So he's literally only getting four pounds. In one week. So I'm going to take this thing here. I'm going to take this 0.33 kilograms that he's gaining per week, which is what his trainer is saying. And I'm going to multiply it by 14 to see if he's going to get to this level here. No. So I'm going to take 0.33 times 14. He will gain in 14 weeks. He will gain 4.62 kilograms because I multiplied all this by 14. Did he gain the amount of weight he needed? Yes, he did. He needed this. He would have gained this. So he will be starting next year. Yeah. Way to go, Bart. Okay. Good on that? All right. The two of them that aren't going to really follow that same chart method is going to be changed for converting things from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I'll just tell you. All right. Well, we're still going to do it. <laughs> Average temperature in March in this place in Saskatchewan is negative one Celsius. To find the temperature in the Fahrenheit scale, to figure out Fahrenheit, what we will do is the formula is Fahrenheit equals nine over five Celsius plus 32. You just Googled it, huh? Way to go, you. People use it all the time. Okay, all the same. We're it still. It gives you the formula on the bottom. But you shouldn't even need the formula because Google's going to do it for you. Exactly, but you can still figure out if you really wanted to how to do it. And all right, we're still going to go. We're still doing it. Okay, so I've got nine over five times negative one plus thirty-two. So nine fifths times negative one. Again, we can change that nine fifths into a decimal. So I get negative 1.8 plus 32. So the temperature in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan is gonna be uh, 30.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that what your Google machine told you? Yeah. Where you go? All right. Yeah. Last one. If I'm converting things from Fahrenheit to Celsius and I work in the other direction, uh, it says that uh, this box recommends 225 degrees Fahrenheit for rewarming. We got to tr try to figure out what we're going to set that one as. So for Celsius. The formula is Fahrenheit minus 32 and then times 5 over 9. Okay, the, the parentheses are important. So you get 225 minus 32 times 5 over 9. 225 minus 32, that gives us 193 times Five over nine. And we are left in Celsius of 107.2 degrees. Okay. Uh, for any of you who decided to go other places, okay, travel all around the world, half the times if you get like the really like comfort food you'd have here, it's all going to be in Fahrenheit. 
but pretty much every single oven in the entire rest of the world except for the United States is in Celsius. So, uh, make sure you can do those conversions if you want those hot pockets. Okay? Or you can just use it directly. It'll still be in Celsius. I mean, yeah, you could, but it's not even the same. It's not going to be as crispy. It could drink. What do you mean? You put hot pockets in the oven? Have you ever had them in the oven? Bro, no. What do you They're mean? so different. What? That's actually wrong. What? No, no. Like, like an air fryer? No. You cook them in a microwave. Well, you what are you doing? Celsius rolls, so you cannot heat Celsius. You don't cook a hot pocket in the oven. It's not a grill. 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 It's like, as goofy as it sounds, this is one of the things that you can get for the, for the military. Like, it's a nice one. Like, they'll just give you giant bags of them, so that way people can have, like, that little taste at home. But, you have a giant bag of Hot Pockets in the military? Yeah! Why are you, why are you, like, the, yeah. How? I wouldn't. Sergeant Sneller gave me a bag of... An MRE? Yeah! <laughs> uh, so, uh, the assignment is page 24. 28, 32, and then the bottom one, 45, 48, 51, 54, 70, 57. Okay, here's the way I did this, if you want to try and figure it out. These ones, I did by fours. These ones are all by threes. Okay? But as I looked at it, it was like, well, these first ones, these first three by fours, the bottom ones were by threes. I wanted to give you a little bit of each one without using random metric conversions that you really won't ever see. Okay, that's all you got for the rest of the class. You guys got 12, 35? 35 minutes. Page 54, or 544. What?